Okay, mystery riddles, guys. Let's get into it. Five friends came to Alice's house to hang out together. All right, they hadn't seen each other for a long time. Nice. Looks like they're having some friggin' pie right there. Looks delicious. So they chatted all night long. Solid, solid. Did they watch my videos? I hope so. In the morning, two friends died. Oh god. Great. Well, uh, terrible morning. Um, the police arrived at the house. Good, good. And figured out that all victims were poisoned. Everyone. What? It was in the strawberry pie. That looks delicious. But don't eat it because it's poisoned, I guess. The friends told the, de the de de detective. I can't talk. I can't say the word detective. The friends told the detective that the rest of them didn't eat it. Okay. Why didn't you eat the pie? Because they knew. <gasps> oh, God. Steve says, I'm allergic to strawberries. Okay. Well, that's, that's believable, I guess. Steve. Um, I'm on a diet, says Clara. Strawberries are good for you, though. Hmm. And uh, Alice said, I ate too many strawberries while cooking the pie. Cooking the pie. I just didn't want any more. She cooked the pie. That means she poisoned the pie. The policeman looked at the pictures of the party. Okay, he immediately identified the killer. Okay, let's see. Can I see the pictures? Who poisoned the pie? Okay, let's see. Let's see. She's got whatever that is. She's not eating pie. Um, 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 I think it's this girl because she's eating a salad and she cooked the pie. Clara said that she was on a diet. Oh, and she's eating a burger. Oh, I didn't see it, dude. I did not see what she was eating. Dang it, dude. But she ate a large burger and french fries. So she poisoned it. Dang it. Well, that's not a good start to the video. Just losing on the first riddle. Oh, God. Anyways, guys, welcome to the channel. If you guys are new here, definitely consider subscribing. I post dope videos every single day. So hit the red subscribe button. Make it turn white. It's friggin' dope. I'm gonna try to get five points, guys. If I get a Mr. Riddle right, I get a point on the screen. So editor better keep track but yeah five points that's my goal so i have to get five correct you guys can do the same let me know how many points you guys have at the end of the video in the comments okay let's continue by the way guys make sure to go follow me on my instagram and my twitter boom boom right there give me a follow guys i'm trying to get to 100k on my twitter and a mil on my instagram go follow me i'm gonna be following back some right now on both socials so give me a follow one night you were stuck in an old castle someone is chasing you how do you get stuck in a castle first of all how does that even happen i don't know and you end up before three doors of course there's three doors oh god each door leads to a room full of dreadful creatures vampires zombies and werewolves and a freaking spider right there oh god that's the worst of them all we got a vampire okay a, there's just a ghost chilling right here which door would you choose to survive uh i don't know vampires i would say vampires because i feel like you could just like run away from them. zombies would i mean zombies are slow you could probably get away from the zombies too and werewolves I mean, werewolves are gonna like eat you, right? Or something, I don't know. I would probably go with the vampires, I guess. I don't know, right? You, door three, the moon is waxing now and werewolves transform only on a full moon. Oh my, I didn't wreck, oh my God. In the clip, it doesn't show a full moon. I am stupid. Oh my God, I should have known, dude. You have to pay attention so much in these riddles, dude. Ah, no points so far, I'm not doing too good. An explorer found two gold bars in a tomb he just discovered. Okay, nice, dude. That's a lot of money, boom, boom. Um, anyways, the locals won't let him take away their treasure. Oh god, dude. Better freaking run! Run fast, run far. Or just give him back the treasure. Either one. Um, he runs and comes across a bridge. Oh, of course. Oh god, what's wrong with the bridge? Oh, it looks so unstable. What are you gonna do? It can accommodate the weight of only 160 pounds. <laughs> no! He weighs 140 and the gold bars are each 12 pounds. Ooh, that's not good. So in total, 164 pounds. So he's four pounds over. What is he gonna do? Oh, what, he's gonna have to lose one of them or... Why aren't you on a diet? So he's being chased right now. So he can't really take two trips, I'm guessing. Um, What he could do, I'm just thinking, if he's trying to go fast, what he could do, right? They're 12 pounds, right? So that means you can throw up, on, throw, throw him up in the air. <laughs> So what he can do is literally run across the bridge while throwing one in the air, holding the other. And then that's, you know, that's he's good enough. 
where he should be fine. The answer, he should juggle the gold bars in his hand. Hey, that's pretty much what I said. Let's go, dude. I count, I'm counting that, dude. So put a point on the screen. Let's ready to go. Yo, I'm a heck of smart sometimes. Only sometimes, though. Which door would you choose? Okay, so we got... Are those vampires? Looks like it. I don't know. Vampires or zombies? Oh, God. Um, I don't know. What do you mean? Is there a neither option? Vampires or zombies? What? What? What's the catch? Why? Like, I mean, those guys... I mean, she's... What, what is she wearing? Whoa. Um, two girls and then a guy? I would go... I would go for the vampires, man. I mean... <laughs> I mean, she's wearing some nice clothes. I don't know. I don't I mean <laughs> Vampires. I'm going for vampires. I mean this guy probably will just eat me and I don't want that but I mean sure you can suck you can suck my blood my, my blood Disgusting zombie what? One zombie is less dangerous than two vampires, bro. Okay, but did you see what the vampires were wearing? They were kind of <laughs> We're gonna move on. By the way, guys, if you guys are enjoying so far, definitely leave a like on the video. Can we get 100,000 likes? Drop a like right now. Oh my gosh. Five second likes challenge. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, did you do it? You're the best. Hashtag infinite army. Now you get free chicken nuggets, but only if you liked. <laughs> okay, next riddle. You are imprisoned. Oh God, what did, what did I do? What, what did I do? Seriously. Get demonetized too many times? Probably. You have two potions that look totally alike. Those are sh definitely shield potions from Fortnite. Use code InfiniteYT in the item shop, by the way. <laughs> Anyways, um, one of them instantly kills every living thing. Jesus. Okay, that's very, very, very powerful. Anyways, the other one can give you incredible strength. Oh, cool. Great. One or the other. Okay. So would you be able to unbend the bars and escape? Oh, okay. Very risky. Very risky. How can you choose the right potion? Um, I don't know. What? How? You, you don't. You, you just do your jail time and you don't risk killing every single thing on the planet. Jesus, dude. I don't know. I really don't know. Tell me. Catch a rat and try one of the potions on it. Then the rat's gonna have incredible strength or kill everyone. I don't think so. I don't th I don't think that's correct, dude. I don't anyways on the next one. John was captured by a dangerous serial killer. Jesus, dude. Looks like Jason. I'm just kidding. Relax, Jason. Relax. He wants to play a game with his victim. Okay. I've made three cookies. Come on, what's with the cookies, bro? And shave your freaking armpit hair. Disgusting. That's fairly disgusting. You have to choose one and try it. Oh my God. Two of them are poisoned, one is safe. If you find the good cookie, I'll let you go. What, what's the point of this? Like, what does he get it from this? If you eat the poisoned one, you'll die. Okay, obviously, yes. Oh God, which cookie should John choose? Um, so, I'm smart, guys, because this one has a bug in it. So if there's a bug in the cookie, the bug does look Me. alive. If the bug's alive, that means the cookie is safe. So, I'm gonna go with this one. The eaten cookie. It's kind of- Oh, wait! They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. He's dead. Are you sure? It looked alive, dude! That, oh, that's not freaking fair. Okay, hold on. Let me just get a quick second chance. This one looks like it's, like, kind of eaten. Or, like, something's going on here. So I'm gonna go with this one is safe. Or wait, no, no, no. This is not safe. This is the poisoned liquid that's seeping out from the cookie. I don't know. This one's safe. I'm just going to go with the right one is safe. Okay, so that one's x Yep, I got that one wrong. Whatever. Freaking. Uh, that's the poison. That's the poison, right? Yes. It doesn't even say if that's the poison, but I'm guessing it was. Okay, cool. Got it right. Second, second time. Don't judge me. Okay, what the heck? You probably got it wrong too. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, next one. Who would you go with? We got a zombie. And then we got... A vampire but also in the background I see this so it looks like they're married so B I don't know why you'd go with zombie um, I'm gonna go with B all right let's see if I got it correct go with the vampire go with the vampire the zombie will just eat your brain yeah okay obviously and the vampire looks like will turn you into a vampire yeah but that's fine because you're married you're freaking married dude I choose B yeah I choose B too I'd rather be a vampire than be an, an, an eaten brain. <laughs> that didn't make sense. <laughs> Anyways, last mystery riddle of the video. Let's get into it, guys. All right, we got a police station. A rich businessman arrived at the police station? 
Oh, at the police station. Yeah, okay, I got it right. All right, so this is the guy, freaking Gerald or something. My only son was kidnapped. Kidnapped. Okay, I gotta pay attention to everything. He doesn't study or work. We had a fight about it yesterday. I'm trying to remember everything he says. So I decided to cut off his money. What? Because he probably pays everything. He went away to cool off and didn't come back. Oh, God. And at night, he called me and told me. Oh, no. Oh, Father, help, I've been kidnapped. Dude, what the heck? Santa Claus? Santa Claus get up. They want 100k for ransom. Dude. They grabbed me and put a black bag over my head. We're going across the bridge. Oh, no, dude. Why is Santa Claus doing this? What you want? Fire truck. What color? Red. Next. There are three men wearing Santa suits. What? So he told... How, what? Don't worry, your son wasn't kidnapped. What? He staged it. How did the detective guess? Uh, um, he doesn't, he doesn't uh, 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 oh, 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 he wanted the 100K. He, he did, the, this isn't a medical crisis, is it? The dad cut the money off from the kid and he was like mad about it. So he staged it to try to get 100K from his dad. How did he know though? <gasps> because if the bag was over his head, how would he know that they're in Santa suits? Let's go! I don't know if that's right, actually. Let's see if it's right. Come on, come on. Come on, did I get it right? If there was a black bag on his head, come on. He wouldn't be able to see the road. Oh. And identify the kidnappers. Yes! Dude, I got it right. Let's break. Oh, dude, I got the last one right. Yeah. Guys, I'm the best. Put a point on the screen. That's how many points I had at the end of the video. I don't even know. I kind of lost track, but hopefully it's five. Hopefully, I don't know. Anyways, guys, let me know how many points you had at the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. You're the best. Subscribe if you're new. Go follow me on my Instagram. I'd really appreciate it. I post dope pictures, I promise. And cop the merch. Link down below. Look at that merch. Look at that merch. It's dope. I promise. You guys are going to love it. Anyways, I'll see you guys all in tomorrow's video. Peace out.